Have you ever heard of the Rain Furries? It was a furry convention held in the Seattle area. And it ran from August 2007 to September 2015. 2015 would be the last time this con was held after all hell broke loose. Get ready for this crazy story. Unlike Dash Con, where the whole thing was a hot mess because of this con organizers, Rain Furries was a disaster and was destroyed from the inside by the con's attendees itself. It all started with a wardrobe malfunction during the talent show, with one of the contestants' lower half being exposed towards the audience. And then the drinking began, giving white girl wasted and frat boy trash a run for their money. Like seriously, it was crazy. There were bottles everywhere, in the bathtub, cases and cases in the hallway, on top of dressers and counters, you name it. There was also instances where people was tampering with the fire alarm so that they wouldn't get interrupted dealing with the devil's lettuce, if you know what I mean. A few hours later, the real destruction began. The first part took place inside of a bathroom where someone, I don't know why, unscrew one of the bolts inside of the bathroom so that when the next person went in and flushed, the bathroom would flood. And oh, surely it did. It flooded everywhere and the water was two and a half inches deep. The emergency plumber was called, but by the time he came, the damage was already done. The water already seeped down into the floor and down into the basement, wetting up all of the servers that was down there. Hilton security and hotel staff started to threaten to kick out a lot of guests as the hot boxing inside of the hotel room started to seep into the hallways, which caused the fire department to come to the hotel. While that's happening, someone took all of the towels inside of the spa and threw them all into the hot tub. They also stuffed a bunch of towels inside of the pumping system for the hot tub, which caused the hot tub to break. Since the hot tub was no longer in use, the pool was the only option for water fun. That is until somebody took a shit inside of the pool, causing everyone to hopefully get out of there fast, as fast as possible. Back to the bathroom. There was rumors going around that inside of the bathroom, somebody had created a donut hole. Though nobody could actually prove those rumors, but what they could prove is that there were canisters of nitrate um, oxide in boxes all over the hotel, inside of rooms and inside of the hallways. I don't know what they were using that for. Ambulances were called. Not for that though, but because people were tripping off of shrooms after overdosing. While that was happening, someone was getting arrested for SA, while another person was getting arrested for regular A. Another ambulance also had to be called because another group had got alcohol poisoning. I guess some people just can't handle their liquor. Even more people got arrested. Two people in particular got arrested for drug possession, while the other one got arrested for drug dealing. So they were just wilding at this point. Everybody was just doing whatever. I feel bad for the hotel staff. Then there were people walking around in straight diapers, which I guess the slang term for it is called crinkling because it makes a crinkling sound when you walk around. And some of these diapers were full. Back to that in a minute. But you can imagine that a lot of guests was not happy about that, especially the ones with children. I couldn't even imagine the smell because like at the end of the day, you're defecating in yourself. That's, that's nasty. It's nasty when children do it, much less a grown ass adult. Later, these same people were throwing diapers and food into the hallways and in the gardens. I don't know why. I forgot to do it under my eye, hold on. Others were kicking into their animal spirit by kicking in the buttons inside of the elevators and completely breaking them in, like literally breaking them in. So they're no longer in use for any other guests inside of the hotel. There were also multiple meetings that was trying to get a handle on the situation, but they all just got ignored. Remember I told you we were gonna get back to why the full diapers was very important? Well, 
someone was taking these full diapers and slamming them on top of other guests' cars. Your guess is better than mine's because what? But yes, there was people slamming their full on diapers onto multiple different cars inside of the lot as if it was some type of mating ritual or something. Oh, dang, I should have never did this first. I should have waited because I got to put foundation on. There was multiple complaints of violence and disturbances around the entire hotel. And honestly, it went on far longer than it actually needed to be. And some say some of the hotel staff just didn't really want to be bothered because of the type of convention that it was. They left the Hilton Hotel in a complete train wreck, like one that will make you think that the adventures destruction of the city is just a dusting away from being clean. Like this was crazy and honestly very disrespectful to the staff that probably had to stay there overtime to fix that mess. A couple weeks later, after the con went on, about four to six weeks, Hilton Hotel actually terminated their contract. And not just their contract, but they also cancel all other conventions for the rest of that year. They always say one bad apple ruins it for the bunch. I never really touched my eyebrows. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do eyebrows. I just, I don't know how to do eyebrows. So I just leave my eyebrows the fuck alone. I will say one thing. The organizers for Rainforest was actually very smart because they already had the whole convention actually insured. And they had money, like they had money. They had over $150,000 inside of the bank. So they were able to cover a bunch of the damages that was done by the attendees. But Hilton had wanted nothing to do with them after all this. They, they felt like the whole fandom was just very toxic and not worth the risk of their brand. They thought that it would have been okay because they could just find another venue. But when you have a big catastrophe like that, it's really hard because these hotels talk. And when I mean talk, I mean they talk to everybody. So as soon as they started looking for a venue for 2016 Rainforest, everybody knew what happened. They knew about everything. There was even someone that sent out letters personally to tell them what happened at 2015 Rainforest, which later the organizers stated that they knew exactly who that was that was basically snitching on them. It had to be the person that either saw who was putting in the dirty diapers on top of the cars or was the one putting dirty diapers on top of the cars. They were quite literally just banned from hosting inside of Seattle. Like nobody in that facility would take them. And with deadlines coming up, they had to start searching outside of the city if they really wanted to make 2016 happen. As they went after the city, they found a place called Spokane. I have no idea what the hell that is or where that is. But they found them and Spokane actually accepted them. Once it was known that Spokane accepted Rainforest, the letter stroke again from the diaper bandit, which led Spokane to back out at the last moment. So, dang, you know, I feel bad, feel bad for them. They tried. By then it was already February and Spokane had rejected them. So it wasn't really much that they can do. And basically, Rainforest was canceled for 2016. Let me go do my hair and then I'll do my lips on and like kind of finish the look. All right, I'm trying to decide between this one and this one. Mm, I feel like this one is giving the vampy vibe. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna vamp it and I'm gonna put this in like the middle. Or should I put it on the outside and put this in the middle? Mm, okay. So ultimately, 2016 was Finito. It was garbage. It was gone. There was no way for them to bring that back. And there was rumors that they were bringing it back in 2017, but plans fell through and it just didn't happen. There are other cons that came up for the very community, very low key ones, but nothing will ever top Rainforest. Honestly, when I was researching this, I was like, why did the guy in the diaper snitch? Like, what was the motive? Like, 
did he not want the fest to come back? Like, what? What did he got? Did he have beef with like the organizer? Was he was he one of the organizers and then he got fired? Like, what what happened? But I guess that's just something we'll never know. That's the story of how Rainforest went from being the first fairy convention to basically bringing hell at its last convention. This is the final look, guys. I think it looks so cute. It's giving really golf girlfriend. Like, don't play with me. <laughs> But that is it. That is the story of Rainforest, and I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you like and share this video for more, okay? I'm your girl Cashier. Love you. Bye.